welcome back to my youtube channel so i know i've been inactive for a long time now but i thought i'd make a video on this topic uh so by the time this video comes out this news would be a few days old but i thought this information that i'm going to share in this video will be useful for a lot of people right uh so for what i'm talking about is that you must now already know more that apple unveiled its dates for wwdc this year it's going to happen from june 5th to june 9th right so it's an exciting period where apple will be unveiling all of the tech that they've built in the past year right a lot of cool new things are going to be showcased at this e- at this event so uh but the thing that i'm going to talk about in this video is the swift student challenge which is a uh, which as they are continuing with the tradition which has been happening for a few years now they are continuing this challenge this year also and this year what is happening is uh so uh if you're unaware of the swift student challenge let me just summarize what exactly happens in this challenge very quickly so swift student challenge is actually a contest held for students who are essentially who essentially have to like build a mini project that showcases something that they're passionate about right so you must just create a small interactive project which can be experienced in about 3 to 5 minutes and uh, that thing has to be kind of educative or like should be uh, about something that you're passionate about right you can express your creativity you can use your creativity on this you can build whatever you like like say suppose you have some you are really passionate about physics you can make a small break playground on some physics topic like say anything like you can make something about rotation and motion right and otherwise if you are like a uh, passionate about coding you can also make a, something that is educational and will uh, right it, now it's up to you what you want to build but the thing is the basic concept is that itself you have to build a mini project or a playground that has that can be experienced in like around 3 to 5 minutes all right now why should you participate in this challenge it, this is a question which you might ask now if you manage to win this right if your submission is good enough then you will be awarded exclusive uh, wwdc outerwear you will also get an airpods pro set a uh, customized pin set and a uh, one year mem- membership in the apple developer pro- program plus this year also there will be a special uh, selection process where some winners can where some winners will be chosen for getting the opportunity to attend a special event in the apple park right that's a pretty big deal and i'm pretty sure a lot of apple enthusiasts will be taking part in this challenge just for this right so now if you are like a new student who's learn, like learning ios development this is actually a very great opportunity for you and you should definitely participate in, in my opinion in this contest so first thing is that you can actually test yourself like you can test your own skills like where you stand uh and you can like uh you can see like how the skills that you've built and as a programmer you already know that there's nothing better than building a project that will help you gain more skills now uh so this is a definitely something which you should participate in if you are like learning ios development that's something which i strongly believe right now since i've been a, a winner of this contest for 2 years in you know the last 2 years right this year i sadly won't, won't be able to participate anymore because i'm not a student anymore recently right so but i thought i'd share my experience with you guys and help you guys to like ace this contest and uh grab that opportunity to be at apple park right so let's first before i give my tips let's quickly go through the requirements that they mentioned on this page right so the first thing is that before applying what do you, what do you need to need for applying what do you need to be how do you how do you become eligible for this so for becoming eligible for this contest you just need to be a student currently enrolled in a university college school whatever it has to be an educational institution and uh, otherwise you could also be like a recent uh, graduate who's like recently uh, completed your uh, schooling or college or university in the past 6 months right so uh, then uh now 
let's talk about the project that you need to build the project has to be like interactive and as i mentioned it has to be a playground it has to be a swift playground which is like explain something which you're really passionate about say you're passionate passionate about music or you're passionate about gaming you're passionate about coding say you're passionate about science subjects like physics math whatever whatever you feel like you're passionate about you can create a playground on, on that topic right the only requirement is that it has to be experienced within like three to five minutes and it should not require any network connection right so there are here as mentioned this year the requirements seem to be the same uh, requirements seem to be similar to what we had the previous years so this year also we have to make swift playgrounds you have to make a swift playground using the swift playgrounds app on ipad otherwise you can also use the xcode otherwise you can also use xcode on your mac right so in this video further down this video will also show show you how, how you can build a swift playground using xcode right so just to help you get started uh quickly but let's continue the other requirements here now completing your submission is that so essentially you need to when you're when you're finally done with your project you need to when you're submitting you need to provide proof of enrollment and you need to also describe a few things that about why you are actually passionate about programming and why uh and like what what is your contribution to the field of programming from your end, right? So this is just a few. There will be a few questions from Apple side, which you just have to fill out. So Apple, they just want to know whether you are actually really passionate about programming and what differentiates you from the other people participating in this contest, right? So you just have to show them the excitement that you have for programming, your contribution, and what your uh, role was in like. uh building suppose you say you've uh, worked very hard to build a community of coders in your own like institution and how you did that and what what were the challenges you faced and what was the outcome right say you are really like into uh building projects and how some project which you built helped people uh like had an impact in society something like this right so this is so these questions they have to be filled by you so you'll just think about it and understand what the what what you're uh, what you can talk about right so i won't be able to help you a lot in this much you just have to think this in this case you will have to think yourself and come up with answers but the main point is still the same that you have to just showcase your excitement for coding and what makes you passionate about coding you just want to know that right so this is the optional essay check the optional essay section right so this is also done next thing which we have is the judging requirement the judging criteria is simple the judging the project will be judged on technical accomplishment creativity of ideas and content of written responses right you can also read this document for full terms and conditions so all right so now that we know the requirements let's see so the basic fundamental is clear now by this time i i hope that you have to create a project how do you build a project so let's quickly uh in this video i'll just show you i'll give you a quick starter guide like if you are working on a mac system then how you can like quickly start and create a new xcode a new swift pm file on xcode right so first thing you need to do is you need to open xcode right create a new project and go to ios go to swift playground app right and go next play uh, here you can give any names here i'm just giving test playground wwc right so i'm just going to create this i'm going to put it on my desktop so you'll be getting a template something like this right and now if you are familiar with swifty why so this is also one of the requirements like first thing to be able to build this project you need to know swift that's the one of the first uh, requirements but if you are like working if you are learning ios development for example then you are already know swift you are already know swift ui right so you should be able to build the project and like for example here the basic template that xcode gives us is of one app which is having a content view right and the content view is described in here 
where there's an image of a globe and there's a hello world. Let's run this on an iPad and see what exactly it does. Right. So I'm running this on an iPad Pro Simulator. This is not an iPad Pro, this is an iPad 9 Gen Simulator, but still you get the point. Right, it's launching right now. So it's pretty much the same. Now you just need to say this is the starting template. You can now go any way that you like. You can add uh, different things here. You can add assets. You can add. You could add images, drag and drop photos if you want to add them, access them. And you can just now. This is the basic way of doing it. This is like the basic thing that you need to do. Now let's see. Now what do you build? Now, now you know that what you need to do, right? You know missions, right? So in our case, you can like one thing you can do is you can obviously go to my uh, GitHub channel, my GitHub profile. There you can find my last two year submissions. Uh, here, for example, this is my last year submission. I'm gonna link it in the description below. And here you can actually see what I did and uh, what it was about. My last year submission was actually a uh, description about how, how you can use Bezier curve, how, how you can use Bezier curves in your project, right? So you can use the path uh, tool in, in this case and then create multiple curves like linear, uh, quadratic and uh, cubic Bezier curves, right? So this, this is like, like an interactive game. You can also view the demo which I have posted on YouTube. Plus, if this is one, this is just one of the projects and if you're still unsure, you can always, always like look up past WWDC scholars projects and get an idea of what you need to do right for example this is a great place this is a great resource where you can view previous year scholars you can like if you want you can also interact with them and like reach reach out to them or see their uh, projects get some idea about what can be done what needs to be done then you need to just start brainstorming Right, this is just step step one. So once you know that what you need to do, you get some inspiration and get some idea about what type of project you need to build. Then you start brainstorming at this point. Like and then and then there's pretty much that's it. Right, you start uh, brainstorming and you start execution because you only have around twenty days. At this point, it's even less than that because I'm like a few days late. But you only have around like you don't only have around like twenty days to finish your submission right so now yeah so that's it so i wish you all the best in your submission i hope you hoping that you will be able to win and as always you can always reach out to me if you have any sub if you have any questions that you want me to answer for you right and the and don't, don't forget the most important part that is that you need to enjoy the process and you need to like what you're doing Right. So good luck and hope you have a great WDC this year. All right then.